Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with NBA 2K13 and we have got the Chicago Bulls going up against the Detroit Pistons. This, for me, is an interesting game because it's my association team versus the team that Shao Kahn Mathley is on in my my player mode. So, gosh, I kind of want to root for both teams a little bit, but since I'm going to be playing as the Bulls, that's the team I'm going to be rooting for the most. All right, so I'm kind of kind of stuck on what I'm going to be doing for this association mode because with the playoffs coming up I don't know if I'm really going to be able to invest all the time here to be able to play the uh, playoff games here for the Bulls so I'm wondering if this might actually be the last episode for me of this series or if I somehow manage to try and keep it going because I mean I've got baseball in full swing right now no pun intended but Gosh, it's kind of tough. I mean, I just kind of feel really bad because I didn't invest as much time into this association mode as I really wanted to. Same thing with like Shao Kahn Mathlete. So like I go back and I think I still might be in single digits on both of these two modes, which kind of disappointing because I actually really love playing NBA 2K13. I'm not the biggest basketball fan, which I don't know it kind of comes out a little bit I think in the commentary and it is something that I'm working on improving but at the same time I mean there's just such a, a huge fun factor in playing this game that just makes me keep coming back to it all the time but as far as the videos go I'm just not posting as many as I would like so I don't know I think maybe next year or I can consider this uh, like a test year for basketball and the next year I can really go into it here and play a whole bunch of games with association mode and also with whatever I decide to do for my player but I don't know we'll see what ends up happening here of course if you guys want to comment below and let me know what you guys think that's gonna weigh heavily into the decision on what I end up doing for this so even if I go ahead and do a playoff game here a playoff game there and I don't get this finished up for like you know a few months or something like that I mean that might be something I I consider but I don't know I only really get to play this once a week and when uh, basketball is going next year I want to make sure that I go ahead and really get into this and play it a lot more so uh, you'll see a lot of games out of that with uh, whatever team I choose next year I do have a few ideas though on what I would like to end up doing but I'll, I'll save that for later now as far as the game goes Bulls are doing a tremendous job we are actually at the top of the Eastern Conference so we have definitely clinched a playoff spot at this point. Rose getting double teamed, so I pass it inside to Noah with a sweet dunk, and he gets the foul. So we're going to send him to the line here to see if he can get the three-point play here. Really haven't shot that many free throws with Noah, so the timing of everything is going to be very difficult for me to get down. So 24-18 is the score right now with a minute and five seconds left in quarter number one. So Noah just taking the deep breath. Gonna bounce it a few times, or actually just once, and then puts up the shot, and it is in. I got the A-plus rating right there, so gosh. I guess I'm doing a lot better than I thought. All right, so great shot right here. It's gonna be 25 at 20. d Rose still getting double teamed. Means I can pass it off to a, a teammate of mine, so I'm gonna give it to Gibson. I'm gonna try and drive through the hoop. I'm gonna try and see if I can get past everybody, too. And I'm able to get that basket in. That looks really, really tough. We're up by seven points right now here against the Pistons. Robinson trying to see if I can go with the steal there. Not able to get it. Another basket here. So Detroit's really been keeping close with me here after the first quarter. I mean, they're down by seven points, which I wouldn't necessarily say is close, close, but I don't know. I've seen worse out of some of the teams I've ended up playing. All right, 31-26 now. Just passing it back to Dang. Puts up that shot, and the three-pointer goes in. Dang's just done a tremendous job at shooting just all year long. I really haven't gone uh, you know, inside in the paint with him just because his perimeter shooting has just been so efficient. I just wait for him to get open. I pass it over to him, bind him with the basket right here, 34-30. So the Pistons have closed the gap up. Heinrich going inside. Making the easy basket right here to make it 36 to 30. Bulls on top. Now the Pistons get a basket. They got a chance 
to be able to pull within two or one, depending on the outcome of this play. And that one goes in. So it is just a one-point game. I've really got to focus on playing a lot better here. My defense is kind of falling apart here in quarter number two. There we go. I just need more passes like that inside. You know, I, I don't feel like I go in the paint enough. But anyway, D Rose putting up the three point shot. That does go in. So we space it out here a little bit more now. Goes back to five. Pistons get the basket. So we are at three points again. Hamilton, gosh, same place that Dang got that three point shot earlier. So I guess that might be my sweet spot. Gotta keep going there. Heinrich going inside with the layup. Six points now. Heinrich again. This time he passes it to D Rose. Of course, whenever Derrick Rose is in. I'm going to be looking to get some buckets with him. Able to get that right there. Eight points now. All right, so we've done, done a great job now of getting back here to our normal uh, form here. But we're going to stop that one. Hamilton going to give the alley-oop to D-Rose. That was a sweet alley-oop. I haven't done too many of these here in association mode. I mean, with Shao Kahn Mathlete, I'm able to get alley-oops pretty frequently, but... Not so much in association mode, so it's kind of cool that I got one right there. Day. All right. We're in good shape here. I'm surprised that there's only two percentage points that separates the two teams when it comes to the field goal percentage. Thought we'd be uh, a lot better than that one here, but really I haven't been able to drain nearly as many shots as I usually do. We're going to go into halftime here being up by nine points, 54-45. Crowd's pretty quiet right here, but the crowd's been quiet actually for most of the game because of how well that we have been doing. So if I can go ahead and just keep the crowd out of this, I think I got this one in the bag. I really don't know how much the crowd influences uh, what you end up seeing here in NBA 2K13, but I don't know. I just kind of like knowing that I've silenced a crowd. There's something exciting about that. All right, got to make sure I stay close here. Knight. Passing it inside of Monroe. All right, Knight gets it again. Off the rebound. Trying to make some moves. All right, he's going to miss that one. Nine minutes, ten seconds here in quarter number three. D-Rose puts up that three-point shot. It does go in. So the Pistons are going to have to play Derrick Rose a lot tighter than that. They want to be able to stop my shooting. But... I don't know. We'll see what kind of adjustments they end up making. Gibson trying to see if I can get inside, testing the defense a little bit. Gives it to Rose. I don't care. You can sit there and be in my face all day long, but D-Rose is going to keep draining that. So I kind of really want to prove just what D-Rose can do. Getting double teamed, passes it to Gibson, who passes it to Rose, and another three-point shot for him. D-Rose, obviously the best player that I've got here on the Bulls. And he shows it game in and game out by putting up tons of numbers and tons of great plays like we just saw right here. Now, I notice a huge difference when D-Rose is not on the court. Um, my bench, not nearly where he is. And so the strategy or my uh, style of gameplay that I normally use, I just can't do that with the bench. So every time Rose is in, I make sure I utilize him and get as many points with him as I can here too. 70-56, make that 70-58. Four minutes and nine seconds left here. In quarter number three, Prince with the jumper. That one goes in off the glass. 12 points. Robinson back in here, just getting past everybody. I thought maybe he'd be able to get a dunk right there, but nope, just gets the easy high percentage basket. Can't really complain against that here. Passing it out to D-Rose. Another three-point shot for him. So we're really, really getting those threes to be able to fall right now, which is huge. I need that. D-Rose with the dunk. That was actually a pretty intense dunk for him, too. I don't see too many 70s out of D-Rose, but... Gosh, another one. I don't know what the Pistons are doing, but they're not trying to stop D-Rose at all once he tries to drive towards the basket. Maybe they should bring in Shao Kahn Mathley. That's what the Pistons need to do. 87-74. All right, got to stop Knight now. All right, who passes it inside. Kind of feel a little responsible for that one because I could have done a better job being in the passing lanes of preventing that one uh, from getting inside. But that's okay. We are still up 
by nine points. With that shot, make it 11. Dang with a long two point shot on that one. D Rose again just trying to get inside here, being double teamed. I get it with the fadeaway jumper. That's honestly my favorite shot to be able to make in this game. I don't know why, but I get so excited whenever I make a fadeaway jumper with some considerable distance. Ah, man, I can't believe we let that one go. Really, with the defense today, I haven't been too impressed with their performance um, because with the defense, we're really not rebounding the ball as much as we should, nor are we really trying to stop them. All right, another jumper right there. So I don't know what I, I could do. I guess I could go ahead and just change out every single time. Wow, that was a long jumper. Nicely done. Uh, keep backing it up. Backcourt violation right there. All right. That's, uh, that's going to be big here because there is 18 points now between the two teams. So it's not big, I guess, from the outcome of the game, but it's kind of nice for me to finally get a defensive stop right there of that type of magnitude. D. Rose with the great basket. has got 48 points on the day, and we are not done yet. All right, four minutes and 30 seconds now. Gibson handing it off to Heinrich, who drains that three-point shot too. We're really spreading the love here with those who are making those long baskets. Dang, Rose, Heinrich. Had some from Hamilton here too today. That's kind of nice to see, especially as a player. You know, you've got a lot of assets that can make those long-range buckets. There's Hamilton with a long two-point shot. 105-88. We've got just one minute left now in the game. I'm not going to go ahead and break away. We're just going to see what happens here for this last minute, even though this game is out of reach for the Pistons. Still is something here that... I don't know, a lot of cool stuff can happen at the end. Passing it off to Gibson, who puts up the shot. Probably not the smartest call with him being as tired as he is. So Knight's going to try to get something done on the fast break. Pistons able to get the basket there. All right, so they're going to go with the full court press. That works for me because usually I can just blast right on through them like I do right here with D-Rose. All right, give it back to Gibson again. Learn from my mistake. I'm not going to go ahead and try and shoot the ball. So Rose, just try to get around everybody. You cannot double team me. Drive inside and get the basket. 22.8 seconds left now. So got to play them close. I mean, I really don't know what they're going to do. Looks like they're just going to hold on to it here because the computer knows there's no way for them to be able to come back from that type of deficit here. 15 points in such a short amount of time. So Knight putting up the shot, able to... Kind of get in traffic here a little bit and make him miss that one. So Bulls are going to end up winning this game here against the Pistons. Gosh, it was kind of nice to be able to do this one. Like I said, I mean, I got a lot of respect for both teams because I play as both teams. But anyway, you guys, I appreciate you watching. I definitely do. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just check the description below. But I do appreciate you watching. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.